A great thing about films is that they can highlight parts of our lives without being literal. Movies aren't limited to portraying things exactly the way they are in order to make a point about how things are. Sometimes it can be more effective to portray something in a more metaphorical way. I'd like to give two examples of films that I feel do this very well, and I'm sure that there are better examples of movies that have metaphors in them, but I'd just like to focus on these two movies. The movies, The Neon Demon, and Sorry to Bother You. First, let's talk about The Neon Demon. The Neon Demon is a film about a 16-year-old girl who moves to LA in order to become a model. Jessie's character represents most women who want to become models. She sees herself as a character who has no skills outside of being good looking. In fact, her character even says this at one point in the film. I can't sing, I can't dance, I can't write. <laughs> no real talent, but I'm pretty. And I can make money off pretty. Outside of that, we don't learn much about Jesse's character. Instead, the film uses Jesse's character as a vehicle for us to learn more about the beauty and modeling industry. In the film, we see that everyone in the industry is obsessed with beauty. The industry executives are obsessed with selling beauty, and the models involved in the industry are obsessed with doing anything it takes to become beautiful. How does the film illustrate these things? Industry executives notice how beautiful Jesse is, and they rush to capitalize on that. While Jesse is involved in all of this, there was a scene where a model explains that she was willing to go through dozens of surgeries just to wear a ponytail. This is where the metaphors start to show themselves. Jesse is a beautiful character without having any surgeries. Her natural beauty is something that the other models that she encounters envy. What the film does is it takes the statement women would kill to look like this, something that Jesse says towards the end of the film, from a figurative statement to a literal one. In fact, shortly after Jesse says that line, she is killed by a few envious models who then eat her. As graphic and over the top as it is, the film uses this as a way to illustrate how competitive the modeling industry can be. Anyway, Let's talk about the movie Sorry to Bother You. Sorry to Bother You is about a man named Cassius Green, a financially struggling man who lands a job at a telemarketing company called Regal View. Cassius is meant to represent the average working class American who wants to financially improve their lives. Hell, his name is Cassius Green. Cash is green? One of the first metaphors in the film shows up when he's told to use his white voice when trying to make a sale. Use your white voice. Like this young blood. Hey, Mr. Kramer, this is Langston from Regal View. The white voice is a metaphorical representation of something called code switching. Code switching is when somebody changes the way they speak based on the situation they're in. This is a technique that is commonly used by American minorities in the workplace. The character Cassius ends up using this white voice to ascend up the corporate ladder and become a power caller. The second metaphorical representation we see in the film happens during a scene where Cassius is at a party where he's being recognized for his skills as a power caller. This is when Cassius finds out that the CEO of a company called Worry Free wants to genetically modify all of their employees to turn them into half-human, half-horse hybrids. Do you get it? The CEO wants workhorses. The film uses this to illustrate how American corporate CEOs want nothing more than employees who will devote their entire time and energy into just their job. Not seeing employees as people with their own lives, but instead seeing them as workhorses. Well, those were just two examples of films that use metaphors. Let me know what films you like that use metaphors. 